In this video, I'm going to talk about the side to do the carotid end arthrectomy because it can be easily confused. So if you have a stroke or weakness of let's say the upper extremity or the lower extremity, the site of surgery would be opposite to the side of weakness. So if you have right side weakness, you are going to do a left carotid end arthrectomy and vice versa. Now, the other thing to know would be what about Amirox figures, which is transient uh, blindness from one eye. Would you do the same rule of opposite side? No, because it is the uh, branch, the ophthalmic artery, of, which is a branch of the internal carotid. So it is going to be the same side as the uh, blindness. So if you have right eye vision loss, the surgery site would be the right carotid. So we discussed vision loss, we discussed uh, TIA and stroke. So for TIA and stroke, it would be the opposite side. And for uh, blindness, it would be uh, the same side if that's the only symptom. The other thing I would want to know is that, for example, if you have a right side weakness and you said it's going to be the left side carotid, well, if the left carotid, you look at the ultrasound and it is only 30% uh, stenosis, then the correct answer is not carotid antarthrectomy. The correct answer would be to rule out every other cause of stroke or weakness. The other uh, thing to remember, if the carotid is occluded 100%, uh, the wrong answer is carotid and arthrectomy. You can try anticoagulation or other maneuvers, but this patient has an intact circle of villus. So carotid and arthrectomy is actually the wrong answer if you have a totally occluded carotid artery. Thank you.